great exercise. Cycling to the dog park is even better. My husband and I, we love cycling, and we wanted an option where we can bring our dogs with us along for the ride. Now, there are many options out there. There are front baskets that hang in front of your bike like we've got right here. There are baskets that hold on top of your bike rack just behind on your wheel. There are trailers, just like the ones for kids that are made specifically for dogs, which I would suggest if you have a medium to large dog. And another option I've seen are also seats that actually sit on your crossbar. Now, although these baskets are different, they both come from the same company called Solvent. We got this bag for Arthur five years ago when we were um, preparing for her arrival. Uh, it's been, it's been great and really, really handy. Um, it came flat packed with both the basket and, and the mount. So let me remove the basket and I'll show you how it attaches. So, the basket just lifts off um, and it attaches to this mounting bracket. The bracket, this bracket here is actually a, a, the second version I received. The first one that I got with the, with the basket itself um, was actually lost when my bike was stolen. Um, it, it was actually, uh, this supporting bra brace here was a very thin plastic and bent quite easily. Um, but the replacement one is actually much better. The, the brace is actually much stronger, ha has a bolt to keep it, um, keep it at the right length and, and it's much firmer plastic. I've also added these um, zip ties to, to keep it attached because otherwise it, I felt it slipped off quite easily. At the handlebars itself, uh, it just, just uh, screws on and I've added a bit of uh, electrical tape just to make them a nice funk fit. Uh, the, the frame here itself is quite a, a firm metal and, and, and it holds on quite nicely. It slips into this little pocket on the back of the bag. Right, so. And then these straps can wrap around your handlebars. Make sure you clear off your brakes and your gearing. Attach and secure on both sides. Like. And we're done. Now this bike has a number of features which I will now explain to you. Starting on my right we have a uh, mesh pocket for which I have a water bottle for the dogs. We have a small zippered pocket which I keep a, a bike lock uh, and often my wallet and keys. In the front there's another large pocket for the entire width. Um, the, the buckle of which is actually broken. Um, but it still works for what we need. It has uh, dog bags, I usually keep treats in there, and, <clears throat> and a shoulder strap. This shoulder strap can attach on the sides, like this. One, two. Such that when you take it off, you can then use it to carry your dog, like a, like a, a dog carry bag. On the left hand side, we have a large zippered section. Uh, which I usually keep in the lead or a jacket or, or just other miscellaneous items. On the inside, I have a, a blanket just for a bit of added comfort and warmth. Um, there is a, you can't see it, but there is a um, collar, collar hook which I've had to add an extender cable on and attach to Arthur's harness here. And I always use a harness and not just the collar because. Um, Arthur has jumped out before and been hanging by her harness and when that happened we were quite happy that it was attached to her harness and not her collar. Um, the final feature is, actually, the final feature we have is, is this sunshade. The sunshade is easily removable and easy to put on as well. It, you install it by placing the legs uh, in special pockets that exist on the front and back, both here and on the back, on both sides and just push them until you adjust it to the right height. To install you just pull it out and then this bag actually has a neat feature is that you can wrap it up and pull out the bottom of pull out the bottom of the, 
off the case and store it underneath. Which means whenever you're riding, you always have it available when you need it. Lastly, this basket is only rated to hold around 11 pounds. Um, Arthur's quite a bit heavier than that, she's more like 14 pounds, but we haven't had any issues and, and that's good because we didn't actually find a dog basket front mounted like this that would hold more than that. Uh, overall, I would give this basket uh, a rating of a 4 and would recommend it to, to any cyclist out there. So when we were getting Audrey, we were looking for a different basket for mine. Um, and when we did our research, we actually found that Solvet made this new wicker version of their baskets, which I liked better because it matches my bike and I'm a girl. I like things that look nice. Um, <laughs> yes. So um, when we got this uh, basket, the actual, the little faux fur lining here was separate and we had to put it on using these little fake faux leather straps. Um, it was a bit tricky because the holes in the fur and the holes on the wicker basket didn't really quite match so well, but once it's on, you don't really have to remove it anymore. Um, another thing we added, though, we had to do is because it's wicker, the wind actually goes through really easy, which makes it really cold for poor little Audrey um, on a slightly chiller day if it's windy. So we actually added um, a bit of plastic here just to cut the wind that we've added in between the faux fur and the wicker basket. Um, so this came with a slightly different mount than David's. Let me remove this basket and show you the bracket that it comes with. Uh, so just unclip it on each side here and pull it out. Um, so this is the bracket that comes with it. Um, we bought this basket a few years after David, so the bracket that comes with it is actually better than it used to be. Um, here on the side, uh, the little uh, mount is actually uh, bigger, wider and stronger uh, than the one that David has. Also here, it's actually screwed on as opposed to just resting on um, this bit here with the loop. And so uh, I'm quite happy with that. So also on my basket, it's slightly different. As you can see, it's actually a plastic bit that is screwed on my wicker basket, unlike David's, which is um, just a piece of material that has been added to the back. Um, so we'll just slide that on here to the bracket. Uh, and also on the sides here, different to David's, uh, it's just a little hook that you put on the, on the basket here, tie it up here. And same thing on the other side, and that's how you put the basket on the bike. My basket has less features than David's one. Um, David has all these nice pockets, and it's also uh, better because it's material made, which means that the wind doesn't go through, unlike mine, as I said, I had to put a little bit of plastic. But I'm a girl, and I really cared more about the fact that it looked nicer than my, with my bike than having all these little gadgety things. So, uh, what it does have though is uh, it does have a sunshade which as you can see um, unlike David's one it's um, not adjustable so it's really short for Audrey so he can't really sit up straight completely on it. Also David's one's made out of material which means that he can actually use it um, to block a bit of rain if ever it starts raining while we're uh, cycling. Unlike this one, because it's wicker made, it's got all these holes and the water will go through it. Also, the other thing about this sunshade is that um, it's not foldable. It's really just like this. It sits on top, uh, which is really easier to install because you just have to drop it on. But it also means that I have to decide before leaving the house whether I'm going to use it or not. Unlike David who could just bring it with him and, and put it on later. Uh, now, obviously, you can't see, but this one also has the safety hook, um, which you attach to the harness, and I can't stress this enough, never ever attach a safety hook on a collar. Um, once, when I first uh, brought Audrey on the bike basket, he decided to climb out as I was riding, and he ended up right on the edge here um, by the time I stopped, and thankfully he was hanging from the harness, so he was crying from the pain from being held by his legs, 
um, which I much prefer than having my poor puppy dead from hanging from his collar. So please, please use a harness. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, the other option we've got is a uh, shoulder strap. Uh, this one's a bit nicer than David's one. Um, it's adjustable and uh, it's full leather and it's got this nice padding which David doesn't have on his. Um, and can be attached on here. This basket actually has um, little handles on the side that are actually hand with. Um, and then you just tie this up on this side. <laughs> And it goes here on this side as well, which can then be used as a carry bag. Um, and we've also added a little blanket in here um, for Audrey's comfort so he's not as cold because he tends to be more cold than Arthur when riding. Um, so um, I really love this basket and it looks better, um, but because David's basket has more options, is a bit more more practical, I'm giving this basket a rating of 3.5. If you've enjoyed watching this review, please watch my other reviews and subscribe to my channel. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. <laughs>